Hi and welcome to my studio. My name is Lisbeth and I'm a Danish textile, collage and mixed media artist. In my last jelly printing session, I used all kinds of textured fabrics to make prints for my collages. So today I thought I would make a collage using some of the prints I made in the session. I will put a link below in the description box to the video showing how I made these papers and several more. I have done a lot of collages in 20 by 20 centimeters and not very often gone bigger. So to challenge myself, I will try to make a collage that is 30 by 30 centimeters. It doesn't sound like it is a big difference, but believe me, the bigger size, the harder it gets for me. The substrate is uh, watercolor paper, uh, 425 GSM. I had here oh, this stack here and I have been running through it and I have picked some of the prints I think I will use today. Perhaps not them all, but we will see. Um, <clears throat> I also like to remove the white edges before I start. No. It is not always I do it, but sometimes it, it is easier to see what you have when the white border is pulled away and taken off. So, then I will start to divide the papers onto, into smaller pieces. Um, the smaller substrate, the smaller pieces, and vice versa. So, let's the fun For begin. instance, I have this piece here, and it is like three different elements. So, I will divide the piece in the three elements you can, you can see. So they are ready. And uh, let's see here. Perhaps I will take a piece of this. And this isn't the most exciting prints, but I like the things here in the side. So I will take a small strip here of this paper. And this I think I will save for later. And this piece here also is like two prints so I will Divide it here, down to me. Oh, it here. And perhaps divide this in. in two. And I have this one here. I will remove the, the, the edge here, I think. And take a strip of this. And I also have this piece here. So perhaps take more of a 
the square piece. Okay, move the white sheer. Yeah. So now I have some different papers and I will begin to play. Yeah, I am quite sure I will place these three elements for a start here. So I will start to glue this one on down. And I uh, will use my glue stick, but of course you can use any kind of glue, matte medium or what you prefer. And uh, to be sure there is a good cohesion, I will be a little heavy handed with the glue stick. This is a fresh glue stick, so it is nice and juicy. So, pick it up. I'll go a little over the edges. So you can always cut it clean afterwards. So. first piece and then I will take this piece and let us see here. Yeah, it doesn't much just a little take off here. this piece down. Again I will go a little over the edges. And, ah, sorry, it's a little out of place. This was better. And then I will rub it. Yep, good. Rub. Give it a good rub. And I will glue the last piece on and be back. When you go up in this size, like 30 centimeters, it isn't possible to, to get a, a full length because you then you have to use big paper or a big jelly plate. But my jelly plate is a little smaller than an A4 and A4 is approximately 29 by 21 centimeters so if you want to make a whole long strip you have to put two pieces of paper together or have a bigger plate i have this here i think will fit here or perhaps this no that's too much the same so i think i will Put this strip down here. Yeah. Let's see if I can put it quite. Yeah, that's okay. And you can see I put the torn edges that way and here's a straight edge and that will be covered in a little while. So yeah. And then, I'll lift it here. And then we have to put something up here. Uh, no, and I've got this, yeah, 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 I think that fits nice here, then I will tear, I like torn edges much more than straight edges, but uh, 
that's just my preference. does a clever woman do? She takes another piece. So. And glue it under. Big piece. That is what have, can happen. But uh, if that doesn't matter. It is always nice, not nice, but it is okay when I make mistakes here when I'm filming. Because you can see there's always a solution to fix things. And again, you don't sit down and cry, it's only paper and paint, so we will fix it. So this was this one, and I think I want a long... Let me see what I have here. Perhaps... Yeah, a stripe like this. Yeah. But again, I like the torn edges, and I think I will glue this down here. and see what else to do. I have these three pieces we can play with. the best so I will start to glue that down Yeah, 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 yeah. And then, uh, Last 
rid of this here. I don't want white edges, so I'll tear this way here. And I think this will be one of the, the good ways to to um, use your papers is to make them all different sizes. You can see these two pieces are nearly the same sizes. So I want this to be the biggest and this a little smaller and this one here. So you can see they are different sizes. If they all have been the same size, it, it looks boring. <laughs> so that is also a good thing when you are doing a composition. All kind of different sizes of papers, all kind of different shapes, and uh, yeah. Turn it the other way around and just rub it a little. So, yeah. And I will cut the edges clean. It is best to, to wait to do that until the glue is dry. But um, I'm not very patient, so I will cut them now. So now all the base is glued down. It gives me a feeling of some old English gold embroidery. I really think it is very soft and, uh, and, and I like the muted colors. But I can see there's um, some places where I have some white tearings and I think I will see if I can get a little rid of them. So I have these Kandash new colors too and they are water soluble so you can give them a little with a water brush and uh, perhaps this is too to purple, even though it said indigo on the label. I'll put some gray on it. And you can always remove a little of it if you think it's too much. I don't think this color is good for this piece, so I will take the gray here instead. Go over this piece here. And smear it a little with my finger. And um, I also have this Stabilo all. And um, perhaps I think we should make a black line up here. And this this is really black when it be comes wet. Yeah, I can see I've been a bad glue. So I'll just give it a little more here. Yeah, and then where's my pencil? It's here. You can see it isn't much, but suddenly you can see it's much clearer here. I don't like this color here. Oh, perhaps I should put a little water. 
on the here. Let's see how I can uh, can lift it up. Diluted. Uh, yeah. That was better. How many places you want to to use this? These black lines, it is up to you. I won't, won't do it on all the overlaps, but some places I think it's fine. Both some going this way and some going that way. I think that is enough. So now is a hundred dollar question. Do I want to put a focal point on it or do I want to leave it as it is? And I have some options I have thought about. I have this peep bird from a um, book somewhere. I can't remember where it was. Uh, and the color wise, I think it is quite nice on this piece. But again, it doesn't bring much color to the piece. Then I have these two circles here uh, with um, painted with a paint gray. And perhaps this is a little better because it gives a, some more, a better contrast. So I think these two will look nice here. Something like this, I think. Yeah, this way. So I will glue them down. I have this uh, fine liner. And I have put uh, some uh, fluid acrylic paint in, the, in it and uh, diluted it a little. So uh, you can see here, it's a very fine tip. And you can write or doodle with it. it I always just, to get it started, go on a, a piece here beside me. But I think I will see if I can do something looking like a simic writing or something. Yeah, not more than that. And I will let it dry and I will take some close ups of, of it. And as you can see, I still got a lot of papers and more papers, so there are too many, many more collages. So here it is, the finished piece. If you want, you can always give it a varnish or a layer or coat of matte medium, depending on if you like it to shine or to be, be matte. I think it is a quite a quiet piece and with soft colors and that's the mood i'm in sometimes and as i said earlier it a kind of reminds me on on some old english embroidery i hope you like it and will give the jelly printing with uh, fabric a go so uh, please like and subscribe to my little channel that would make me very happy so stay creative and take care until next time bye bye